Hi everyone! Happy Specials Day! Today we are going to be doing a project inspired by the wonderful Mrs. Golomsky. She showed me this project a few days ago. Um, but what you will need for the project is going to be a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, you could use any kind of black marker. Your scissors. And then last, you are going to need a paper bag. Um, if you don't have a paper bag, you could probably use cardboard. It's just going to be a little harder to cut. So I forgot to mention, you are going to need a willing participant for this project. If you don't have one, you can use yourself. Um, but I will show you some samples that I made. So this is the first one I made um, drawing a dinosaur, and I did it on brown paper bag. It worked well with my sister's dog, which I'll show you a picture. And then for my dog, it did not work well, and he ended up ripping the top of this. So then I decided to make one out of cardboard and my dog was terrified of the cardboard. So do not force your pets to do this. Lastly, if you are just doing yourself or someone else, I made this one, and yes it is Barney, um, to put for the face, my own face. I am going to show you um, just a really simple dinosaur that you can do for a pet or for yourself. I'm going to start by cutting out a nice piece of brown paper from this bag. The first thing that I'm going to do is make a hole for the head. Um, so depending on if it's going to be you or a pet, you can decide how big you want it. I'm going to make it just kind of medium size, so I think this would probably be best for a pet. I'm drawing that with pencil and then I am going to fold it in half the circle that I just made. And I'm going to take my scissors and then I will cut that arc to, so that when I open it it will make a full circle. Okay, so now I have my space for the head. So I ended up drawing this dinosaur without realizing that my um, phone was no longer recording. So we are going to do that again. But as you can see, it's a pretty simple dinosaur. If there is a dinosaur, like if you have a favorite dinosaur that you want to do or just a different dinosaur, there's several uh, tutorials on YouTube and there's also lots of pictures and stops and things like that. You can find a lot online. Um, but we are going to do that simple dinosaur. So from your... From the um, hole that you cut, you are going to make a neck. The way that you are going to do that is you're going to start by making, so it's going to be kind of on the side of the head, two lines down, and this one's going to be a little curved. All right, so we have our neck. We are going to make the, our, the dinosaur's back leading into the tail. So we're going to, from the neck, we are making the back. It's going to be a little bit curved and then it's going to really swoop down here so that we get that tail form. All right, so from the neck we are going to start making the front of the body and the feet. So you're going to do that by making kind of a J shape in the front here. And then you're going to draw a straight line down and you're going to make its foot. So I'm just going to make the feet pretty simple here. And then you're going to come back up, so uh, parallel with this line, and then you're going to make an arch. So we have our first foot, and you can add toenails if you want. Um, and then we are going to make its stomach leading into the other leg. So we are going to start here and make like a stretched out U type of arch. So we have its stomach, and then we're going to make its other leg. We're going to make that J shape again, leading into his foot. And then we're going to bring the back of his foot back up to his body, like this, and then making a curve. From that curve, you're going to connect it to the tail so we can close up that tail, just like so. So we have the body of our dinosaur. 
I'm going to add some toenails to this side too. And then now we, all you have to do is add details. For mine, I'm going to add some spikes and I'm going to add some spots. So just by using triangles, you can make the spikes. And then I'm going to make a few different sized ovals to make the spots. Okay, so my dinosaur is done. Now I just have to find someone whose face I can put in the hole. Um, this is just one way of doing it. Again, if you have a better way, please feel free. Um, and I would encourage you to check out different YouTube videos. Uh, also, you can use, you don't have to use that brown paper. I used white paper when I did the one for myself. Um, and that, that way I was able to color a little bit better. These are the three samples that I have, but I would love to see yours and see the pictures that you make with them. Please send them to me. Um, I honestly will say when I get emails from you guys, it is the highlight of my week. So have fun and be creative and enjoy your week. Bye.